Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about following three topics. One is carbon border adjustment mechanism related to GS3 environment. Second one is white hydrogen GS3 environment. And third one is the India's own CART T cell therapy. This is GS3 SNT. These are the three topics we are going to discuss. First, let me give you overview about all these three topics quickly. Then we will discuss in detail. First one, carbon border adjustment mechanism. This is between the India and EU. European Union recently announced that whichever the products imported into the European Union, they have to pay certain tax, certain amount, certain fee they have to pay according to the amount of carbon emissions released in the production of that particular goods. Because European Union is saying that in developing countries due to the relaxed environmental laws, those goods which are coming into the European Union, they are producing in outside of the European Union at very less cost and they are coming into European Union. Because of that, companies in European Union which are following the environment laws in a very strict manner, because of that their production cost is increasing and they are at the disadvantage side. To, to avoid that, European Union recently announced that they are going to impose the carbon border adjustment mechanism. This is the first topic. Second one, white hydrogen recently when certain geologists when they are looking for the fossil fuels in the northeast part of the France they found reserves reservoirs of white hydrogen in this aspect we will discuss about what is white hydrogen and what are the different types of hydrogen such as gray brown black and blue hydrogen and what is the significance of white hydrogen as well we will discuss third one is India's own CAR T cell therapy actually this is developed by incubator in IAM I mean IIT Bombay they develop this particular technology, I mean therapy. This therapy is all about, it will activate lymphocytes. You know that in our body, we have B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes. In this therapy, blood sample will be taken and that blood sample will be genetically modified. The T cells present in the blood sample, they will be genetically modified and they will be given back to that individual again after one week or 10 days. Those injected back T cells, those injected T cells, they become killer cells and they kill all the cancer cells. That is about the CART T cell therapy. Of course, it is revolutionary in nature because it is going to be offered at uh, less than 10 times the cost of the existing therapy, which is offering by the developed nations. So, these are the three topics we are going to discuss in today's video. And stay tuned, first we will see. And by the way, like I promised, I am including the PDF notes of these video files. You can find that in the description. First one is regarding the carbon border adjustment. Okay, carbon border adjustment mechanism. Before any imports coming into European Union, they have to show what how much carbon being you know, utilized, how much carbon emissions being emitted in the production of those goods. Based on that, they have to buy certificates. And especially this is going to be affect sectors such as cement, steel, aluminum, fertilizer, and electricity, because these are the carbon intense industries. They involve a lot of carbon emissions. If you look at here, the percentage of products which are going to be affected, especially exports to European Union, around 11.2 percentage of products to European Union, they are going to be affected under the new regime. A number of torque which are going to be affected mainly, iron ore, they are going to be affected mainly 19.9 percentage, and steel products, then aluminum products. These are going to these are the products which are going to be affected a lot under this new regime and uh, experts are fearing that this may also affect the trade relations between the India and European Union as well. Context India is concerned about European Union's new climate law that is a carbon border adjustment mechanism. This is proposed by European Union mainly to reduce carbon emissions from what from the imported goods and prevent competitive disadvantage against the countries with weak environment regulations. That means in countries where environment laws are very weak, in those countries they are able to produce these goods at very less cost and they are importing into the, they are exporting into the European Union. So the companies in European Union they are at disadvantage size. There is a reason they introduced this one. Previously, emissions trading system used to be there. It was adopted in 2005 under this. It is a market based mechanism where this the main objective is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. It allows buying as well as selling these certificates related, related to greenhouse gas. If any company, any country 
is following more sustainable uh, methods then they can sell the certificates or they can sell credits whereas the countries which are releasing very carbon intense products obviously they they have to buy this carbon credits eu concerns regarding this eds because of some deficiencies in the eds eu countries and companies in eu they express concerns regarding the eds and the ineffectiveness of the eds because eds is unable to prevent the imports which are which cause a lot of carbon emissions outside of the european union so because of this the cbam was introduced the cbam under this imports of carbon intensive products such as cement iron steel electricity fertilizers they have to pay certain amount of the uh, tax that is nothing but carbon border adjustment mechanism so next one more thing is it is a part of fit for 55 in 2030 package what does it mean by 2030 at least 55 percentage of the greenhouse gas emissions they have to be reduced compared to 1990 level so whichever the carbon emissions were there at 1990 compared to that by 2030 at least 55 percentage of that carbon emissions have to be reduced then issues with the cbam of course there are certain issues are there many countries are arguing that this is very discriminatory law and it only consider carbon prices not the implicit prices which involved in the making of such certain products it is only targeting the carbon as well as it is impacting mainly developing countries because developing countries are the countries where this carb this environment norms are very i mean not that much stringent and of course lack of funds as well they don't adapt that much that many sustainable methods of production because of that developing countries may be targeted that is their concern of course india is also thinking in the same way this mechanism is protectionist policy as well as discrimination in nature in spite of these challenges only 1.8 percentage of the india's total exports to eu they are going to be attracted under this cbm especially iron and steel and india is also claiming that it will give undue advantage to european companies so this is the first topic now the second topic is white hydrogen like i said earlier scientists who are looking for fossil fuels they discovered they discovered reservoirs of hydrogen under the northeast france and so far it is one of the largest fossil largest deposits of white hydrogen ever discovered of course white hydrogen already discovered at certain places of the world such as us eastern europe russia australia france in these countries already certain deposits of the white hydrogen was discovered the scientists are estimating that around 6 million it is going to be between the 6 million to 250 million metric tons this is going to be the very huge in nature of course this white hydrogen is one of the cleanest this energy source because it don't produce any carbon when it subjected to combustion this white hydrogen popularly known as natural gold or geologic hydrogen it is naturally produced in the earth's crust you know that earth consists of various layers crust mantle and core it is present in the earth crust it is having considerable potential regarding clean energy production advantages what are the advantages of the white hydrogen number 1 no carbon emissions second one it compatible with the existing infrastructure that means with existing uh, equipment this green hydrogen can be workable again for this green hydrogen we don't need to go for new infrastructure actually this reduces significant bunch of expenses very very important it is cheaper and more efficient than the steam and the last one it is abundant and renewable see here renewable very very important so this is the significance of the white hydrogen now let's see there are different types of hydrogen generally when you are reading current affairs you will come across various types of hydrogens such as gray hydrogen generally gray hydrogen it comes from you know like natural gas or methane when it is subjected to steam methane formation then we will get the gray hydrogen whereas the if the hydrogen produced from coal it is known as black hydrogen if the hydrogen is produced from lignite gasification it is known as brown hydrogen blue hydrogen is the one 
in the hydrogen production process whatever the carbon is released if the carbon is captured and stored in underground that is known as blue hydrogen and green hydrogen green hydrogen is the one which is produced by electrolysis of water when water is subjected to electrolysis through by supplying electricity of course that electricity also come from solar energy in this type in this green energy green hydrogen 0% zero, zero zero rate of zero percentage of carbon emissions okay will be there that means no carbon emissions when we are targeting towards achieving the carbon neutrality 10 students india would like to achieve the zero carbon zero net carbon by which year by which year india would like to uh, achieve the net zero carbon levels and third topic is cot t cell therapy cot t cell therapy is are about what when a person is having this uh, cancer especially lymphoma cancer from them t cells will be separated the t cells will be subjected to genetic therapy genetical therapy and these t cells will be att attached with the chimeric antigen receptor car and these t cells will be cultured into millions of t cells and these t cells will be given to the patient back again one of these modified t cells infused into the patient they targets this cancer infected cells so this is the one of the you know like most efficient cancer treatment therapy very very important compared to chemotherapy and chemotherapy requires multiple sittings for this it you know like oddly it requires only one or two sittings and at this moment it may be around 30 to 40 lakhs for the treatment and this uh, developers they are thinking that it may come down as the research i mean r and d is you know like uh, further advancing why it is in news next car 19 it is actually this car t therapy product name next car 19 is india's first indigenously developed developed within india car t cell therapy i mean who approves this kind of therapies in india what is the regulatory uh, authority that also you have to remember in theme of the the day few days back i told you especially when you are looking at this kind of information you have to know which authority is approving here the authority responsible for approval is central drug standards control organization cdisco it is granted authorization for this next care 19 to immuno act this immuno act is a company it is a incubator developed by iit bombay the significance is this commercial launch of this therapy it offering around the cost which is one tenth compared to the other countries and the mechanism already i explained how this mechanism of action involved in the car t cell therapy and who can get the this next car 19 therapy uh, patients who are suffering from b cell lymphoma in the b cell lymphoma lymphocytes will be affected with the cancerous cells cancerous uh, antigen from for those people this therapy will be particularly very useful okay there is students these are the three topics now let us see yesterday's video question in yesterday video we discussed consider the following statements inflation benefits the debtor debtor okay remember who took the money for them inflation benefits obviously because at the time of uh, taking uh, or borrowing money uh, rupee value is for example 100 rupees okay now the rupee value decreased now the rupee become 150 rupees means obviously you have to pay less debt inflation benefits debtor inflation benefits the bond holder no okay as the inflation means rupee value decreases when rupee value decreases means if you have a bond value in the rupee which you bought in the past where rupee value was very good if that is the case now your bond value is reduced because the rupee value is also reduced so this is not benefit to the bond holders next today's question consider the following statements about the green hydrogen green hydrogen is defined as hydrogen produced from biomass like trees and plants material second statement green hydrogen energy is vital for india to meet its nationally determined contributions second so pick the right statement out of these two now as we reach to the end of ending of this video in this particular video we discussed about following these three topics and this is the detailed analysis regarding the current issues of 3rd of november thank you